Well, hey everyone, welcome back to Kitchen Table TCG. I hope you're having yourself a wonderful day. Uh, one of my favorite things about The Calling, I know we've talked a lot about The Calling this past week, but it was such an amazing experience. Uh, and I wanted to share that one of the, the best parts for me about it was hanging out with Team Kitchen Fable and getting to know these guys that I've kind of interacted with a little bit on Discord. And it was great to meet everyone, and I'm not trying to just like call out Team Kitchen Fable, but it was really cool to see Team Kitchen Fable and the way that they interacted with each other after having interacted together online for so often. These guys practice uh, three to four times a week together. They have pods that practice together. They're always asking each other, hey, can you practice? Can you get together? Uh, they have dialogues. They have team meetings. It's an amazing opportunity for them to connect with each other. In the calling, it was really cool to see them connecting with each other in real life as if they had been best friends for years. It was just super cool to see. I think it's really cool uh, that a team can be dis, you know, by disorganized. What I mean is like they are, I guess better word is decentralized. Uh, they are from all over the country in different play groups and different pockets of the country. So they take what they learn at their metas and they come together and talk about the game as a whole. I think it was really cool to see that. Um, so what you're about to watch is actually a video of them all getting their jerseys. And I thought it was a really cool thing for you to be able to see as a viewer of the channel, uh, to see kind of the behind the scenes as part of the team. I, I want to give a, a couple of shout outs first. Uh, first shout out to Sean, uh, Cardboard Dreams. Uh, Sean has been running the the entire Team Kitchen Fable uh, for the past couple months. Uh, he, it was his idea to create this team. It was his execution that has gotten the team this far. Uh, and it's really cool to see a lot of things coming to fruition. Uh, and so that was super cool. So I want to do a shout out to Sean. I want to do a shout out to Zach. I know Zach has helped a lot with Sean too with some of the experience and stuff like that. Uh, and then I also want to shout out some of the sponsors. Mitch from Midtown Merchant helps uh, the, the guys get cards, affordable cards at, at prices. Uh, he hooks them up with some unlimited cards. Uh, George from Pete Sports, always a huge supporter of uh, Kitchen Table TCG as well as uh, the team. Uh, and then Powell, who you're, you're going to see, uh, sponsored the, uh, he's a rapper and he sponsored the jerseys, but you know, the, the idea here is just to highlight a fun time with the team. Uh, and, and that's super cool. So uh, without further ado, this is the video of them getting their jerseys and Sean goes through and, uh, and just highlights some of the team. So guys, good work this week at the calling. It was awesome to see you. Uh, and I hope that you will enjoy this video of, uh, the guys receiving their jerseys. No more side combos. Uh -oh. <laughs> All right. Uh, what's up, everyone? My name's Sean. Uh, I'm Cardboard Dreams on Team Kitchen Fable. Um, I want. <laughs> it's a. Uh, it's kind of surreal being here. Um, most people on the tables that aren't on the team, I have played with. I've had tons of great times with. Um, and we couldn't have built this team without the community. That was the whole point from the beginning. Was back in March. Uh, you know. Louis was still getting started. I was just like, hey, I guess this TCG is pretty cool. It'd be great to have an outlet with all these other guys that I've been playing with. Um, and so I went to Zach and I said, Zach, I can't do it without you because I know nothing about TCGs. My first TCG and um, for some reason, Zach said, okay, sure. Um, and Kyle did too and Louis, Louis put faith in us. He was like, yeah, guys, go for it. I'm all in. Um, so we went and did tryouts for a long time, um, and it's been it's been five plus months, almost six months since we ideated and started the team, and now we're here finally handing out jerseys to our players who are here at the Las Vegas Calling. Um, I want to say one more time, thank you to everybody who attended from uh, Kitchen Table TCG. Um, thanks to guys like Patrick, Kaziel, uh, Josh, who's going to be joining the team soon, uh, for supporting our team all the time. Um, these are guys that are showing up in our server, playing games with us, and they're pillars of the community in their own right, and uh, we love playing with them, so it's important that we shout them out. Um, I'm going to go down the line and uh, hand out these jerseys and just say a bit about the guys. Uh, once again, thanks to Louis. Thanks to our sponsor of the jerseys, Altere. Uh, he's an up and coming rapper. He's helping us out. And uh, we definitely, we appreciate him. I mean, Powell, he he was a good guy and uh, it was really easy to coordinate with him. Powell, if you're watching, we really appreciate you. It means a lot. Um, and I'm so excited to be able to hand out these jerseys. Um, 
Our first one. Oh, also, Sean has done everything on Team Kitchen Fable, and I do nothing, and he does everything. So a round of applause for Sean. When Sean asked me, hey, can we do a Team Kitchen Fable, or uh, what was the name back then? Wait, I, I don't uh, yeah, it was always kind of a name, I was we like, Sean, you can do anything you want, but I'm not doing anything. And he was like, okay. <laughs> Yeah, um, yeah, and thanks again, Louis. Uh, it's it's been it's been great to work with you. As little as we actually do work together, because that that is the truth. But uh, um, Louis does what he can to support, and uh, it's it goes a long way. Um, I think we've created a wonderful community of guys. We've got an extended family outside of the team that play this game. And the first jersey, I mean, these are in no particular order, but uh, the first jersey goes out to Tyler Broughton. Thanks for teaching me how to play that. Um, <laughs> don't forget to shackle the world. Shackle before you're on. Can somebody watch Louis games and keep a tally of missed shackles? <laughs> all right. Uh, all right. Um, this this player and, and I, I didn't give a speech about Tyler, but Tyler Tyler probably puts more reps and time in than like most guys I've ever seen. He's also very stressful to play against, and so I, I deliberately avoid practicing with Tyler because I actually have to try to play the game. So, yeah, Tyler's a great player, um, and uh, shout out to him again for his RTN win uh, last month. Uh, we got, next, we've got Steven Rodriguez. And um, Steven. <laughs> Steven is in, and this, I shouldn't be wow. saying this as like a coach and a manager, but I have the highest hopes in, on the planet for Steven. Steven's a brilliant young man. Thank you, thank you. And uh, I think he's going to be great at the game. So, I, I, here you go, I'm buddy. Ready. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, oh, you don't have to say it. Put it in. Put it in. Hey, I already think you're great at the game. No, thank you, thank you. Yeah, you're going to be. Oh. All right. Uh, this, this jersey uh, goes geez. to probably the biggest thorn in my side. <laughs> I probably have like daily late marriage arguments with this young man, but it goes to uh, Zachary McCullough, our favorite Viscerai player. Um, this one goes out to, honestly, I'm gonna try not to tear up on this one and he doesn't know it's coming, but I really could not have built this team without this individual. This is somebody who has a lot more experience doing basically everything than I do. Uh, this is someone who I can count on to tell me the truth, uh, who I can count on to tell me when I, when something's not going right. And uh, he's a great player in his own right, and that is Ryan Matheson. Hey! Hey, buddy. Yeah. Oh, look at those tears. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. <laughs> Beautiful. Good. Oh. This, this young man is built different. Um, he plays tier four he heroes, but he's a tier zero player. Um, I feel like everyone in the FAB community knows who this guy is. Uh, and I think that our team would not have the work ethic and would not have grown as fast as we did as players without him on the team. And that that is Jimmy Lee. Lean for luck. Thank you. Thank you. So, so this player, this player is someone who actually kind of, from playing with this individual, that's where I kind of got the idea to make a team. We had spent so much time deck building and just theorizing, staying up till like 3 a.m., getting better at the game. Um, he's a pillar of our team. He's one of the most creative deck builders I've ever worked with. And that person's Chad McKittrick. Woo! Sir. <laughs> so, um, has, you know what I never realized? Is that this individual has in their last name the first name of someone who roasts them on a daily basis. <laughs> that person is uh, George Went. George Went, here's your jersey. <laughs> Just kidding. Here's your jersey, Lou. It's the nicest thing you could ever say to me. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, 
Um, this person is another Florida man like myself. Uh, he, <laughs> he definitely keeps the culture and the excitement of the team together. Uh, he's always down for a good time and he's always re reminding people to just stay cool with it. Uh, and that person's Michael Eastead. We all like donuts too. <laughs> so true. <laughs> hey, everybody. Zach, appreciate it. Yeah, man. All right. Woo so I'll go through the rest of the guys after we have a few guys who aren't here at the Las Vegas Calling yet or won't be coming. The last player we have in attendance is someone who always asks the right questions, who has such humility to go to multiple resources to ask all of his teammates all the time to get better, and it proved in the road to national season. Uh, his last few appearances, he absolutely kicked butt, um, and that person is Jaden Downing. Thanks, brother. So, hey, Jacob, hey, thank you for letting me run your deck list. Tomorrow. Yeah, absolutely, <laughs> man. May it serve you well. Sweet. So, a few, a few shout-outs to our players who didn't make it. Um, we'll be uh, shipping these to you shortly. Um, first one is, uh, he's probably one of the most solid pilots just off the bat that was on the team. Uh, he's probably one of the best pilots in the nation, and I'm really going far with that, but uh, I think Jake is just a really sound guy. He's a level-headed young man, and uh, he's a pleasure to have on the team, so uh, Ruby, Jake. Uh, we got... <laughs> so, you guys should all know Cody by now. Um, Cody's the guy who basically writes all of Louis's deck list, tells him how to play the game. If you've ever played against Louis in an armory event, the only reason you lost is because Cody was DMing him on, on Discord. So, Cody, that actually doesn't happen, but Cody, shout out to you, man. Um, we got... Uh, Chad Spencer. Dude, Chad, Chad is a grinder. Um, Chad is probably the, uh, he's, he's easily the greatest player in Nova Scotia. That's for sure. Um, and he's getting better. Yeah, he, he's built different, so shout out to Chad. Uh, we got a few more here. I don't want to take up too much time. Um, oh, Kyle of Fabled Collection. Um, I, many of you guys have played in one of his online events. If you're watching this, uh, Kyle is just like the chill dude that kind of like keeps us from like getting into arguments all the time and we appreciate it because uh, the team could not function without Kyle. Um, oh, this is me. Uh, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna give myself a jersey. So that's me. And uh, the last one, the last one is the godfather of our team. Um, he's probably, uh, he is a character. And I, I hope that you guys get to see more of him on some of our Team Kitchen Fable videos soon. Because uh, I, I don't know how to... Can you describe Heath better than I can? Because <laughs> Heath, Heath is like... Heath is what I want to be when I grow up. So, he, he's shout the, out to Heath. He's the dad of the team. Yeah. He, he's, you know... He, he keeps everyone in line. He's an excellent player. Excellent. See, I, I don't need to discipline the team. Heath disciplines <laughs> the team. So, it's the best part. Um, so, shout out to Heath. And... Uh, Shout out once again to all you guys. Uh, thanks for coming out. Yep. Thanks for picking up your jersey. Yeah. All right. I expect to see eight of you in the top eight, okay? Yeah, all eight, 100%. All eight. Totally feasible. Yeah, um, Yeah. we're gonna go out tomorrow and have some fun. Uh, it's been a great weekend so far. Uh, shout out to Steven, actually, for going 6-0 and in the Tales of Aria Sealed World Premiere. Uh, like I said, dudes build different, um, and we're just gonna have a fun time. Louis is gonna be on his channel videoing. We've got a vlog together for Team Kitchen Fable. We've got all kinds of faces in there, so look forward to that. And uh, yeah, that's kind of it. Thanks. Yeah.